hi all in this video let's see the difference between what is a typescript and the difference between the javascript and the typescript fine so firstly we have javascript fine then why typescript is developed while javascript is already exist why typescript came into picture so in javascript as a javascript you are using javascript in large scale projects uh, as the project increases grows and the code becomes complex and heavy so because of this javascript was unable to handle these things it it, it is unable to fulfill the requirement of a large scale applications in term in terms of object oriented programming so that is the reason typescript came into picture and also javascript has a more ability not in just in the client side it also has a ability to fulfill the server side programming language also but there are some gaps if you use javascript it is not full fledgedly it can't be used as a server side programming language so that is the reason typescript came into picture to fulfill these gaps to make javascript completely used in the server side programming and also in a large scale application where we have where we need the object oriented features so that is the reason typescript was invented fine now let's discuss the differences between the typescript and the javascript the first difference is like javascript is a dynamically typed what it means so for example i can say ja, let a is equal to 10 i have declared a variable and i said it as a as a and a variable value called 10 a number value after some lines so i can modify that line value and i can give override that value i can give a string value like this so this is perfectly valid in javascript so that is the reason javascript is a dynamically typed you have given a number type while you are initializing the value later on you have updated that to a string this is perfectly valid okay D due to this what happens this is good for some parts but this is not good for few reasons why because so if you assume that if you have some value called number here and if you have a string value here so if someone is using this variable for some other operations and if the type is not predefined earlier what happens is you may get you may end up with the undefined or not a number or you may end up with the errors as well because you may not be getting the type exact type so in whatever the operations you are doing okay if you are having a string and you are doing an addition operation what happens it does an concatenation you will be getting an unexpected results so there are n number of things you will be facing if you have a dynamically typed like this and these things you will be known in the run time not at the compile time all these errors you will be getting at the run time so that is the main disadvantage of using this dynamically typed fine so whereas typescript typescript means it the type is strong static typing checking so typescript means it is a strong static type checking so the time you declare any value its type would be declared okay if you assign the other value like this it will not allow it will give you a compile time error because of this so this is a great advantage of the typescript because of this what happens is in the compile time only you can get the errors okay okay i have some variable and i am assigning i am expecting some data type to that variable and someone else is assigning the other data type so it means what happens so definitely there may be some unexpected results you you may face so that is the reason the typescript it has a static strong typing checking so that's the reason what it does is it will check the types at the compile time and it will throw the error so it will not wait for the run time so that is the reason most of the errors can be caught at the compile time if you are going to use a typescript fine so now next difference is like extension so you know if you are writing any of the file if you mention that file as .js that is a javascript file and similarly if you if you see it as a .ts it becomes a typescript file so this is the extensions of the difference and now the errors at the compile time the javascript whatever the error you do so if the syntax is fine that is fine it will it will not show you any error but at the run time it will be throwing error showing the errors at the run time will cause some more problems so that's the reason we need to have the typescript in large scale projects so that the errors if they are shown at the compile time so we can have some chance to rectify that errors and there is high chances that if you use typescript so 60 to 70% of the bugs will be caught at the compile time itself not at the run time so that's the reason it's good to go with the typescript fine so now browser understandable you are writing javascript code yes browser can understand javascript directly 
you no need to convert that any of the code if you write javascript code browser can easily directly it can understand its code but if you write a code in the typescript what happens typescript code can't be understand by the browser directly so that is the reason what we need to do is we need to compile that code we need to convert that typescript code into the plain javascript code that is what we need to do if you write a code in typescript it is not directly understandable by the browser that code should be converted into the plain javascript then only the browser can be able to understand the code so this is a bit overhead okay i will explain you about this point later as well so community so whereas a javascript has a huge community so many developers or from large time and older time also many developers are working on the javascript okay so that is the reason it has a more community for the help okay whereas coming to the typescript it has a li little bit less community through the help part so coming to the ease of learning so if you are a beginner okay if you are a beginner you can start with the javascript okay but you can easily learn ongoing you can learn the javascript but in terms of you no need any experience if you start if you want to learn javascript you no need any experience it's a just a type um, scripting language you can start with that and as ongoing you can learn it and no ex experience is needed but if you want to learn typescript you need to have some scripting language experience okay and you need to have the object oriented high level experience as well so in terms of ease to learn javascript is very easy to start to learn and as far as uh, you go through you can learn more on javascript but you need to have some experience to start with typescript coming to the project setup so here if you observe the project setup for the typescript you need to have a proper build setup this is needed for the typescript project you need to have a proper build setup so that it can check the static type definitions so at the compile time only it needs to check the static type right so that is the reason it needs to have a proper build setup typescript projects whereas a javascript project you no need any sort of build setup you can directly and happily you can use it fine so now let's understand few points like when to use typescript when to use javascript javascript is good for the small scale projects it is very good for the small scale projects and uh, for the larger scale project as application grows and you you want many features so then object oriented things will be come into picture so at that time typescript has many more object oriented features it has it has a concepts called uh, uh, like classes uh, visibility scope namespaces inheritance unions interfaces so it has more couple of uh, like concepts where you can easily work out with the object oriented programming if your project is growing a large it's better to choose the typescript as your language so in order to reduce errors at the compile time the typescript would be the best option in a small scale application javascript is enough because in a small scale application again keeping the overhead of uh, typescript like uh, you need to convert the typescript code into the plain javascript code right so if it is a small scale project this becomes an overhead so in that cases so just you can go through go with the javascript that is enough but in the recent days in the modern days so typescript is a better thing to go with fine so let's answer these two these two are the common questions so is typescript is better than javascript so if uh, if you think in terms of typescript is it better than javascript no typescript is not a complete replacement for the javascript okay it is not a replacement for a javascript what it is means javascript plus enhanced features equal to typescript that is what the typescript mean okay it is not a complete replacement of the javascript it is coming with javascript with enhanced features so that is the reason typescript is well known as a superset of javascript typescript is a superset of the javascript so now the next question is like should i learn javascript or a typescript so the suggestion is if you are a beginner okay you are completely a beginner so the best choice is start with a javascript okay and one thing you need to remember is whatever you learn in javascript is helpful for the typescript as well okay because that is a superset of uh, javascript right so that is the reason if you whatever you want to learn in javascript that will surely help you in the typescript but don't get start directly with the typescript so these days what is happening is everyone if you there are want to learn react library or angular framework they are directly jumping jumping into those frameworks and the libraries but that is not right 
we need to have the basic knowledge because see browser is only capable of understanding javascript right it means the core concept it is the basic so that is the reason you need to start with the javascript so if you are comfortable with the javascript then learning the libraries like react and angular frameworks it would be very easy to you so in a similar way what should i start should i start learning javascript or the typescript then the question is you start with the javascript if you are complete a beginner in the javascript then it is good to learn and start the javascript if you feel that you know more uh, at a beginner level you cross the beginner level then it's good to start with the typescript so these are the points which i feel that it's a good to have a discussion of the typescript and the javascript so one thing you need to keep in mind is in a modern applications so typescript helps us a lot okay uh, of course it takes some time uh, to compile into plain javascript code but fine but it helps us a lot because 60 to 70% of the bugs could be caught at the compile time not at the run time so that is a very good advantage we will be getting in the typescript but don't miss out the javascript and don't try to directly learn the typescript javascript should be learned first and for example if you do any of the search in the google search how to sort uh, an array uh, in typescript if you do in typescript also you will be you will not get an exact result with the typescript you internally you will be only also you will be getting the result of javascript itself so whatever you learn learn start with the javascript and uh, expand it with the typescript and use the typescript in your projects so that you can get all the errors at the compile time itself and and this is a static type checking this helps us a lot in in, in order to avoid the errors so hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos